It's been a year of milestones in the world of beauty pageants. For the first time in history, Miss World, Miss America, Miss Universe, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA are all black women. Joining me now is Miss Universe, Zuzivini Tunzi. Uh, she said I could call her Zozi for short, so I think I'm going to do that. Zozi, thank you so much. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. So before we talk about your victory, I want to ask about something that you said in your closing address on mm -hmm. Sunday when you were on stage. You said, quote, I grew up in a world where a woman who looks like me with my kind of skin and my kind of hair was never considered beautiful. I think it is time that stops today. Growing up in South Africa, mm -hmm. what were the messages that were sent about the standards of beauty and yeah. what was considered beautiful? You know, I think it's just opening up a magazine paging through it and not seeing women who look like me, switching on TV and not seeing women who look like me. So I think there was just a lack of representation growing up whenever they mentioned beautiful women. I never really, you know, picked up on women who, who looked like me. And I think I just really grew up in a society where um, colorism was such a big issue. And, you know, the furthest you are away from light skin, the furthest away you are from beauty. And so I felt it was so important for me to say that because I knew there were women who related to it and I knew it more especially that there were little girls as well who you know would relate to it and, and um, it was such a special moment for me because I really wanted to get that message across. And in fact during the competition you were advised to wear a wig. Yeah. You chose not to take oh, yeah. that advice. <laughs> Can you talk about why? I did get a lot of advices because then you'd say you're gonna do um, I was gonna do Miss South Africa at first and people said oh you're gonna put on, you know, artificial hair and I, at first I was questioning why people would ask me this and then I realized it's because my kind of hair has never really been a standard of beauty. Natural not just hair is not natural something you hair, see you know, whether it's on queens. beauty pageants or, you know, any other beauty platform for that matter. And it was so important for me to keep this hair because if I changed it then it would mean I believe that my hair is, is not worthy enough to be called, you know, beautiful. And so that's why I decided to keep it because I was like, I feel like it's beautiful and, and the world needs to know that it is too. So you are one of five black women to be crowned in some of the world's top beauty pageants yeah. this year. What do you think your victory means uh, to both the pageant world but also to people of color? Yeah, it, it means so much more. Firstly, it, it just shows how much we're moving forward as a world from all this, you know, racial division. And as much as it's still there, it says to us that, you know, we're trying to acknowledge it and, and, and to move forward and to say here are uh, a group of people who have never really been acknowledged for anything in the the past before we're now seeing them not only as beautiful but we're seeing them as intelligent and and they're capable and so I think it's so important for it to happen because it's so important for other people to see it happening in order for them to believe in themselves and in their dreams as well at the same time as you know there continue to be questions about the purpose and the role <laughs> of beauty pageants mm -hmm. as we sit here in 2019 yeah. how have you seen pageants evolve as a result of some of those mm -hmm. questions and what do you see your role as the yeah. newly crowned Miss Universe being moving forward yeah I think you know whenever people ask me that I like to tell them about the caliber of women that I met at the pageant how how amazing they are not only as, as people but in, in their careers as well um, you know we had aspiring astronauts there we had pilots we had lawyers and, and doctors and for me that just says how much we we need you know this platform to put women in leadership because that's how that's how I look at it I look at, at Miss Universe as, as one of the few platforms that actually give women an ability to to lead mm -hmm. and you know I've seen change so much from from years back now people care what Miss Universe to say they care about you know her opinions and, and the things that she wants to change in the world and, and I think that's you know an incredible change and, and for you I read that this was actually a way for you to continue yeah. with your school is yeah. to go through the pageant yeah, system right exactly um, it, it did help me a lot you know after financial um, exclusion back home which is quite a big thing I mean we had um, we had students marching for what we called the fees must fall mm -hmm. campaign back home because you know fees were hiking up and people couldn't afford it anymore so it was quite a, a big thing back in my country to be 
financially excluded from university. But it did help me a lot, really, to just sort of, you know, gather myself and put myself back into school. Uh, back on pageants, in the summer of 2018, the Miss America organization did away with the swimsuit and evening gown mm -hmm. portions of their competition. What is your take on this, and what more do you think should be done? Hmm. Um, you know, each organization works very differently, and I really respect them, you know, so much for the decision that they took, um, you know, of, of removing, you know, the, the swimsuit part of the competition. But it can be looked at in, in so many different ways. You know, for other people, it's, it's so empowering to work on your body for so long and just to be proud to be in your skin and, and to walk in there and to say, this is who I am. Um, and, and I'm proud of it. You know, there's, there's a lot of ways um, to look at it. And I think the most important and core thing about beauty pageants is what the girls stand for. It's their heart, it, it's what they want to put out in the world, and it's everything that they stand for, really. So I think that's just, for me, one thing that shines the most about it. Tell us about your platform in the few minutes that we have left. Yeah, so I, I work a lot on gender based violence and gender equality. Mm -hmm. For me, I think that's like one of the most important things because the world has been facing so much, you know, femicide and, and gender inequality. And I think that it's time we bridge that gap. It's time we looked at men and women as equals. And, you know, it's time that we protected women and made the world so much more safer than, for them once again. All right, Zuzibini Tunzi, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you for having me. You can hear more from Miss Universe Tuesday on the CBS This Morning podcast. You can download it wherever you get your podcasts.